All right, so let's make friends with the Cyclops girl. Sachi. Yeah, Sachi. <laughs> the next day, lunch. And I'll guess I'll eat my lunch at lunchtime. I'm starting to get in the habit of it. I'm going to try to find Sachi again today. But first... Alright, I need some help. But let's make this quick. We're holding a war council as we're finishing up our lunches. Quick it is. What do you think is the best way to become friends with her? <laughs> What makes you think I know? Okay. No, not just her. I mean in general. How do you make friends? Didn't you have any friends at your old school? Well, yeah, but... Then you should know, shouldn't you? What a smart ass. Well, I mean, he's got a point there. <laughs> yeah, but it's like a refresher, you know? Uh, no, it's not like I had to try to make friends. I just became friends with some people without even realizing, I guess. That's why I need advice. That's kind of what happens to everyone. Okay, my turn now. Akemi, who'd been silent up until now, suddenly shouts, startling me. Honestly, I don't think she'll have any useful advice on this subject. I want to eat my lunch so I can stay quiet and let her talk. Macron, the answer is simple. You just have to remember when you first met us. It's a little depressing if our first meeting is the only frame of reference she has. When I met you? You? Okay, hang on. Do you want me to... Do you want me to... S yeah? Yeah, just... Go okay, go. It's, <laughs> it's yeah. Because we became friends pretty easily, of course. It's not like you could resist my fantastic charm, but still! No, at the time I was thinking, these guys are weird. I only got you to know you have morbid curiosity. What? That's mean! The fact that you're able to get along with us nerds means you're also weird, doesn't it? Ooh, sick bird. Uh, I'm not denying that. No! Deny it! I don't know what you're so worried about. You're more sociable than me, and not as loud as a chemi. Why are you guys always gaming up on me? Because... reasons. Anyway, the point is that I, you don't want to scare her away, right? Oh wait, <laughs> I think they messed that up. I think it was supposed to be the other way around, so it's like... The point is, you don't want to scare her away, right? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, just, just keep going. I, You're ignoring me again! And you were going to find go find her today, right? Yeah, I'm planning to, but I don't want to eat my lunch here. Last time I met her, having food with me just got in the way. Besides, I don't want to spend the entire lunch break with her and leave these two hanging. Are you sure you can stand being away from us? I mean, look at my hot bod. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I think this guy can read minds. He d doesn't really look it, but he really does care about other people. I think I'll manage. I'm more worried about leaving you alone with Kemi. Don't remind me. I do like having someone else around who can keep this fool in check. They're gonna make babies. Shh, foreshadowing. <laughs> what did you just call me?! I pity the fool. <laughs> I wonder if I should even go. You sure you can keep her in check on your own if I'm not here? Then again, Sachi should be finishing up her lunch soon. 
I've been finishing up my own lunch in a hurry as we were talking as well. Since Sashi's eating alone, she probably won't take long to finish her food. Sashi? Is that the one-eyed girl? Come to think of it, I don't remember her whole name. Oh, right. Asui Sachi. Sachi, huh? Well, she'll be Sachan then. When you finally introduce her to me, I'll call her Sachan. That reminds me. When I first met Akemi, she immediately gave me the nickname Makun. And she didn't even just seem to care that I'd only known her for about a minute. I dislike her, but the speed at which she gets close to people is a bit unsettling, to say the least. Oh, stupid right click. Oh, sure. You're deciding on a nickname for her before you even met her? Well, I'm not the only one who's gonna meet her. Mackin, hurry up and introduce her to us so I don't have to worry about befriending her on my own. Yeah, yeah, I get it. In that case, I better hurry so Kemi doesn't think too hard and risk shorting out her brain. My brain isn't gonna short out! Hey, wait a minute! Zap! And then, she, her brain shorts out. And then the Kemi dies. <laughs> the end. <laughs> Good luck. Thanks. I glance at the whining Kemi before packing up my lunchbox and leaving the classroom. Of course, there's no guarantee I will actually find her. Sachi is probably just finishing her lunch by now. I'm sure she'll go somewhere else when she does. I doubt it. There's also the possibility she chose to eat somewhere else in order to avoid me. I doubt it. Shh, foreshadowing. <laughs> uh -huh. I guess I won't know until I go, though. All right, she's here after all. Same place, same frightened look. Hey, how's it going? Uh, hello. Is she on guard again this time? She seems calmer than she did yesterday. It looks like she just finished her lunch. Her lunchbox is closed. Now what do I do? I suppose I should think of something to say, first of all. Um, I'm not trying to scare you or anything. I just want to be friends, you know? 10 out of 10, if that's how you make friends. F f friends? Her di- her di- yeah, Her darting eye tells me that I still don't have her trust yet. The only thing I can tell for sure is that she's suspicious of me. Yeah. Do you not want me here? Um, you, you don't have to leave, but... In that case, can I talk with you for the rest of the lunch break? Uh, okay. Great. She hasn't rejected me yet. Alright, thanks. I sit down on the stairs next to her. Same as yesterday. What were we talking about yesterday? Oh right, something about books. Um, yeah, books. You like reading books, right? Do you read manga and stuff? I I like re reading novels mostly, just no novels. I see. So you don't like manga then? N no, I, I I I like them. It's just I I don't have any money for manga, novels either. I borrow books from the library, the school library. I mean, they they don't have manga. So that's it. Hey, if you want, I can lend you some of my manga. I have a few novels too. Not just manga, but I figured that she'd be more interested in what she hasn't gotten as much of a chance to read. Uh, um, are, are, are you sure? Yeah. What genres do you like? I mean, I don't have a ton, but my collection is not too small either. I could lend you some of my favorites. Is it, is, is it really okay? You you shouldn't um, go go out of your way for me. I said it's fine. 
It's really not a big deal. I'm just happy we have something in common. I I see. Thank you very much. If you have something you want to read, let me know. So what genres do you like? Um, a any genre is fine. Besides scary, scary stories, or painful ones. Horror's no good then, hey? You don't have a favorite genre then? Uh, um, I'm sorry, sorry. <laughs> There's no reason to apologize. Uh, Alright. The book you were reading yesterday, what was it? Can you let me see it? Oh, th this? She points at the book she's laid aside next to her. It's a, a science fiction book. Sci-fi? You don't look like you'd be interested in that sort of thing. I read those too, actually. I, I really don't care, care about um, genre. If, if it's interesting, I'll read it. Anything that's interesting is good, right? This looks like a good book. Anyways, I'll try to choose some I think you'll like. Why don't I bring you some of the ones I usually recommend to people? Oh, okay, I, I, I'd really appreciate that. Yeah, no problem. By the way, how's this book? I've heard of it before, but I've never actually read it. It's okay, I guess. There's a lot less tension between us now than there was yesterday. Her voice is still shaking and afraid. It looks like she's becoming a lot more comfortable with me. She may not be used to talking with other people, but it doesn't seem like she's opposed to a good conversation. And then the bell interrupts us. Ding, ding, ding! Oh, that fucking bell. <laughs> Time to go already, huh? But at least I was able to talk with her more. That's <laughs> something to be happy about. Oops, we should get going. Right. The two of us stand up and start heading down the stairs. Come back here tomorrow, okay? I'll bring the manga I promised. Uh, okay, um, m memory of senpai? Ooh, she called you a senpai! That doesn't mean anything. That's, she's just acknowledging my <laughs> upperclassmanship. That's all it means. Of course. But, yeah, of course. I don't wait for senpai to notice me. I am senpai. <laughs> yeah? I stop on the steps and turn back towards Sachi. Her voice is so quiet, it's hard to hear over the sound of our footsteps. I'm really sorry. Really? I don't mind lending out one or two books. It's not that. Um, coming up here to talk to me, or... What is she getting at, exactly? Usually when people offer to do something nice for you, you say, thanks, not sorry. Not that you have to bow or anything like that. Actually, I should be thanking you for talking to me. Sorry. There you go again. Uh, sorry. I, I mean, I mean, thanks. Um, thank, thank you. Yep. Glad I can help. We're descending the stairs as we talk, and before I know it, we're at the second floor where my classroom is. She's got one more floor to go, since she's a first-year student. You better fucking walk her down the stairs. Hey, no. Guys. All right, this is my stop. See you tomorrow. Oh, I I don't know. I don't want to overstep my boundaries. Yeah, of course, of course. Sh sure. Tomorrow then. We go our separate ways. Sashi goes to the first floor while I return to my classroom on this floor. Hallway. Classroom. Oh, well, I did it. I only just met her. But surprisingly, we actually made a promise to meet up again. Ah, uh, so excited. Oh my god, yeah, yeah, put your hands in the air. Okay, okay, okay. It's only been a day, but I feel like we've gotten much closer. While I'm in my afternoon classes, 
I think about what kind of manga I should lend her and try to remember what's on my bookshelves. Dots. Dots. Did he pass out in class? <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. <sighs> and then, the next day... What?! Achievement unlocked, are we friends? I don't know. Morning. I enter my classroom. I notice that Akemi and Tomo are already here. They both seem very confused as they look from me to the paper bag I'm holding. It's a book! Books. Well, Makan, what's that? Are you opening a store? I was talking with Sachi a bit yesterday, and I told her I'd lend some of my manga. I think you brought a few too many. Tomo sounds more surprised than anything. Oh, wait a second. I think you brought a few too many. There we go, that's a bit more surprised. <laughs> Yeah, I think you're right. The medium-sized paper bag I brought along seems to be sagging under the weight of the manga inside. How much manga is there? Too much manga. Didn't you notice how heavy it was when you tried to lift it? I guess I didn't somehow. I just, like I'm just super buff. <laughs> she's so tiny, she's not gonna be able to pick up the bag. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought everyone was super buff like me. <laughs> Is Sachin an Amazon or something? She's gonna have a hard time carrying that bag home otherwise, you know. I'm starting to worry about that myself. I don't think it'll be impossible for her, but, it'll, but it probably will be hard. Don't you think it would be better to give the books to her a few at a time? I guess so. I'll let her borrow them all eventually, I suppose. Aside from that, though, I've got something more urgent I need to take care of right now. I gotta pee. <laughs> <laughs> I quickly turn to Akemi and bow my head. Wow. Excuse He's me. Respectful. Huh? What's up? Oh, I remember this. Please let me see your homework. Wow! Oh my god! You didn't do it. This is the second time today I've heard Tomo sounds, sounding surprised. That's the new record, I think. No. Yesterday I was looking through my bookshelves, trying to find books I could lend to Sachi. I was flipping through each book to determine whether or not it would be good for her. And, well, that's all I ended up doing last night. You know what I've noticed as a trend for Japanese novels and stuff? What? They always just do one thing every day. It's like you pick an action, that's all you do <laughs> for the entire day. This isn't even technically a video game. It's just like a... Story, yeah, I know. But I'm just saying, it's it's every single thing that's yeah, Japanese. That's fair enough. I mean, maybe they just make sure they do it really well. <laughs> You're saying you spent the whole day reading manga. Instead of doing your homework? I suppose that's it in a nutshell. Yeah. So, Kemi, help me out. Incidentally, there is a reason I'm, ask I'm asking Kemi. Despite the fact that she's kind of an airhead personality-wise, she's actually a really good student. I wouldn't sh say she's smart, exactly, but she does seem like the studious type. That's not to say that Tomori's grades are bad or anything, but it's easier to ask Akemi than him. Because Tomo would call me out on my bullshit. Yeah. Mm. Well, I guess I have to. I'll think of it as an investment into my future rendezvous with Satan! Wait, wait. Don't put weird obligations <laughs> on me. You're putting her obligations to finish your homework! No, no, I'm just settling the table so we can meet her sooner. Setting the table? We're not going out to eat. So you don't want to see my homework then? I will concentrate wholly on the work at hand, so please allow me to see it. Uh. Ooh, very nice. Okay. Well, technically didn't agree to it. 
Okay. Hallway. Staircase. Lunchtime. Oh! Before I can think about which books I'm going to lend her, I have to haul all the manga I brought up to the stairway up to the roof first. Hey, what's up? Uh, hello, um, Mamoru Senpai, um, wh what's that? Gaze shifts onto my paper bag. Does it really stand out that much? Yes. I picked out some manga for you to read, but I guess I brought a few too many. There are a lot. You sound like you're yawning. Yeah, I was yawning. <laughs> okay. It's lunchtime. This is normally when my one eye goes to sleep. <laughs> Take a little nap. Okay. Do you walk to school? Er, yeah, yes. I thought you might. I brought two or three different series, so go ahead and pick out what you want to read. You can take a few at a time. I don't want to overload you. So sorry. Nah, I'm the one who should be apologizing. Anyways, check these out. Okay. The bag crinkles as I dig my hand into it, and I pile up a tower of manga on the steps. Jeez. Sashi cautiously extends a hand toward the tower, but she looks like she is about to commit some grave sin. I guess she's never borrowed manga from anyone before. She looks scared for some reason. But she starts to sort through them, and as she's reading the summaries and flipping through the pages of the books, her expression loosens up by little by little. Duh. Uh, this one looks really interesting. Duh. <laughs> uh, uh, I saw a bunch of copies of this one lined up at the at the bookstore a little while ago. Okay, you can get a little excited. Duh. Okay, okay. Not, not too excited though. This one, if I remember right, they they say they're going to make it into a movie. Into a movie. <laughs> Uh, so, did you find one you like? Y yes, they all look so interesting. I can't decide. Um, uh, um, this one and and the, and this one. Wait, no, this one. Hmm. I wait patiently as Sashi begins to fidget restlessly and turn her head to me for guidance. There's no hurry. Pick whichever you want. Ah uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> bell drowns the bell out my ring. sentence. More time has passed than I realize. Or maybe the bell is just overstepping its boundaries. <laughs> uh -oh. Sorry, okay. I'll take this one and this one. Hey, are you doing anything after school? Or are you going right home? I, uh, or, uh, um, I'm going right home. I can help you carry them to your house. After class, wait for me at the school skates. Uh-huh. I hastily pack the manga back into the paper bag. And before she can say anything, I'm already heading down the stairs with the bag in my arms. What a little sneak. Yeah, it's He's like, sneak. you didn't answer, so you have to meet me. Uh, I'm gonna pressure you. Like, you have... Yeah, you have... Like, I'm just trying to get her to come out of her shell a you know? Just before I turn the corner, I catch a glimpse of Sachi and say, See you after school. <laughs> Snicky. Wait, wait, Senpai! Having more or less forced this onto her, I leave the sick, shaken Sachi and return to my classroom. After school. Classroom. Hallway. Dots. I leave the school building carrying the heavy paper bag. I have no idea how far Sachi's house is from the school, but it wouldn't be right to make her carry all this home. <laughs> I mean, the poor thing would probably be crushed underneath it. B burst a lung or something. Come to think, I don't even know where her house is. 
I don't know what I'm going to do if it's far in the opposite direction of my own house. No, I agree to this. So even if it is in the opposite direction, I'll go all the way there. I really didn't think this through, did I? Now that I think about it, it's like I'm tricking her into showing me where her home is. Is it kind of creepy if someone you've only known for a few days finds out where you live? Nope. Nah, not at all. Well, she does think I'm creepy, though. As I don't I'm... think she thinks creepy. Shut up, dogs. <laughs> God damn it. As I'm thinking about this, I leave the gates and survey the area. Where's Sachi? Hiding in a bush. Hiding in a bush. Hiding in a bush. Suddenly, I suddenly worry that she silently left without me. I've been still up. I guess I was too pushy. I didn't even wait for her to agree to let me walk her home. If she decided to go home on her own, it wouldn't be out of place. I'd have no right to complain anyway. Hmm. If that's the case, wouldn't she have to come to my classroom to give me back my manga first? No. Because she could walk home with. Oh, um. Senpai? Huh? No sooner do I hear her voice than I realize she's standing next to me, looking up. Where the hell did she come from? She really snuck up on me. Clever girl. So shall we go? I look over and confirm that it is in fact her next to me, then watch as she quickly leaves the campus, staring at the ground with an uneasy expression. Seems like she wants to avoid being seen. I wonder why. <laughs> I continue after her, hauling the pa heavy paper bag along. About ten meters on, we turn down a narrow side road, and she slows down to a norm to a more normal pace. Those M and N's, though. Mm -hmm. Before turning to look back at me. Uh. Oh wait, that's you. Uh, um. Uh. She seems to have forgotten what she was about to say. Uh, sorry for forcing you to do this. You must think I'm a jerk. No, no you're not a jerk. I, I wouldn't go that far. Um, I, I think I, sh I should go home alone. I, I don't want to cause you any trouble. Um... Hmm. Seem to think ab about it a bit before thrusting the manga-filled bag at Sashi. <laughs> she hurriedly throws out her arms to try to take it, but... As I take my hands off the bag, Sashi falls forward under its weight. The bundle of books lands with a deep thump as it hits the ground. Yep, it turns out she isn't an Amazon <laughs> after all. I mean, that's, that's a pretty standard way to find out those Amazons. Of course, of course. Yeah, Just we throw get... a giant bag of books at her and see and if, then if she we can catch them. It. It's like, it's an Amazon, burn her! <laughs> She's an Amazon spy. See? That's too heavy for you, isn't it? That's why I'm carrying it for you. If you do hate me, though, you should say so. I pick up the bag of manga again. Uh, but it, isn't it going to be a pain for you? Nah, I'm super buff. <laughs> if it was a pain, I'd tell you. Don't worry about it, Sashi. Aren't I the one being a pain here? If you think about it, isn't following someone I barely know to her house kind of rude? Why are you trying to make yourself sound like a jerk? Ah. Oh. Ooh. No, I, I don't. I don't mind if it's you following me to, to my house, memory senpai. Okay. Senpai, notice me. Shh. <laughs> You're skipping ahead. <laughs> really? Well, I'm glad then. So, which way is your house? Uh, this way. All right. Let's get going. Uh, okay. The two of us start walking at a steady pace, side by side. Sashi takes short steps, but since I'm weighed down by the heavy books, I match her speed perfectly. Uh-um. What's up? Which way is your house? If it's the opposite 
direction. I mean, if if that's the case, I I can carry the manga on my own. I've uh, we've already established that you can't. <laughs> Interesting. Sashi start started talking to me on her own. It makes me strangely happy, even if it's only a minor thing. M memory senpai. No worries. This isn't the street I usually take, but my house is in this direction. What street do you turn on? I I I don't turn. I, or I mean, the street changes, but basically, I I head in the dire in in this direction the whole way. I see. That's good. My house is pretty much straight ahead, so we're probably right in the same neighborhood. Does it take long for you to get to school? I I think I'm pretty close. It doesn't take too long or anything. Is that so? Cool, cool. Cool, cool. Isn't, isn't that heavy? Or I, I think I can help you carry it. I'm telling you, it's fine. I did drag this all the way to school from my house this morning, you know. Oh, okay. So, uh, sorry. Come on, I'm the one who invited myself to come along with you. So there's nothing you need to apologize for. You're not doing anything wrong. Um, well, okay, thank you. No problem. Anyway, tomorrow's the weekend, isn't it? Don't worry about rushing through the books just to get them back to me. You have plenty of time, after all. Yeah, I guess, I guess so. Thank you. Dots. The two of us lapse into silence for a little while as we continue on. On the way... I noticed something. Even though we're generally headed in the same direction we were when we started, Sashi keeps changing streets. I think it's because she's avoiding streets with a lot of people on them. On top of that, whenever we get to the end of the street, she bows her head as she walks, looking down at the ground. Hey, is your house on the other side of the shopping mall? I want her to stop looking down, so I try to strike up some conversation again. N no, we're not going that far. It it's just a little farther from here. We, sh we should be able to see it soon. I see. My house is a little ways behind us. It's a different street, but we really are in the same neighborhood. Uh oh, really? Oh, that that's my house over there. She points at a house a little ways ahead of us. Oh, this is your place, huh? Sounds disappointed. We arrive at a solitary, small, nondescript house. Thank, thank you very much. I can take them up to my room from here. Okay, sure. I gently hand her the manga, being sure not to drop it into her arms this time. Then, with a metal clack, the door to Sashi's house opens. Surprise, the two of us turn toward the sound. The woman who comes out stares back at me for a moment, but she quickly focuses on Sashi, narrowing, narrowing her eyes. And Mahumi, are, are you going out? Okay, now try to sound like a sophisticated working woman. Of course. Sashi looks like she's about to cry as she lowers her head, trying to avoid looking at the woman. Oh man, that makes me sad. The person Sashi referred to as Aunt Mayumi is a slender woman with perfect posture and two normal eyes instead of one giant one. Yes, something urgent has come up at work. Sachi, who is this boy? She looks me over from top to bottom, her face grave and unsmiling, and her eyes creep onto the bag I gave Sachi. She's beautiful. Her stare is so icy it sends shivers down my spine. Uh, um, this from from school, a uh, stu student. Sashi's voice is tiny, and she bows her head again, flustered, and I'm not sure the woman can hear her. Should I try to point that out? She turns to Sashi, but for, before she can speak, I open my own mouth. I am Fakio Naga <laughs> Mamoru. I recently, I recently transferred schools and met Sashi a few days ago. I came with her so I could carry the bag of books and manga I'm letting her borrow. 
try to say this as politely as possible, but I'm probably talking way too quickly. I see. Thank you for doing that for her, Mamoru Kun. Her speech is polite, but she says this in a very flat tone. It's hard to tell what she's thinking. Of, co of course. Now, I must get going. Sachi, since you're late, you'll have to eat alone. O okay. With that, the woman rushes out of the house. I watch her for a bit until she turns the street corner, but she never looks back this way. A family member, eh? You called her your aunt? Yes, my, mo my mother's sister. I'm living with her right now. Hmm, I see. I want to ask about her family situation, but swallow the thought and ask what I think is more important. That woman, your Aunt Mayumi, does she treat you badly? Huh? Oh, no, not at all. I can't really seem to get close to her, though. Oh. I don't know if Sachi's bad at telling lies or not, but it doesn't seem like a lie, at least. She might be getting her injuries from being bullied at school, after all. But without knowing her, how her family treated her, I couldn't be sure. Okay, uh, I'm going home. You can return the manga whenever. Oh, sure. Really, thank you so much. See you next week. Yeah, see you. Sashi hoists a bag of manga up with a grunt and heads inside. After making sure she made it inside all right, and making sure like she didn't collapse along or something, <laughs> I started walking toward my own house. I'm worried that our relationship isn't coming as well along as well as I had hoped. At least it doesn't seem like she's being abused by her family. At any rate, I think we've gotten just a little bit closer than we were before, and I smile as I think about that. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we've established that her family's not abusing her. So that's good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Is this... Wait, is this chap... Is this the same chapter? I have no idea. Did it say the thing? Well, I saw... Well, we saw her face being sad, but I didn't see, like, any kind of chapter break. Well, did you get an achievement for completing the chapter? Oh, I did. Good, good thinking. Okay, the next okay. day, Saturday. Also, I'll be right back because I gotta pee, so... Oh, okay. Okay, well, we could break this up into parts. Alright. All right. We'll see... We'll be back right after she's done peeing. <laughs>